Hello guys! Um, in this tutorial video I'm going to show you and demonstrate you how EMET can secure your system and make your system less vulnerable to malicious attacks from outside, from hackers or whatever, maybe governments. So I will put a uh, download link for the enhanced mitigation experience toolkit in the description this video will be will be about version 4.4.1 i did a previous video about uh, version 2.0 in the meantime they did some serious changes in terms of user user interface and uh, yeah e uh, ease to use is much more convenient for for unexperienced users to use the program because uh, they changed the graphical interface. In this video I'm going to demonstrate um, or use the public exploit for the cool PDF which can be found in the Metasploit frame framework. But now I'm going to start and I'm hope, I hope you um, don't feel too bad about the fact that I I still have my Windows 7 in, in German. I couldn't change the language for this, I'm very sorry. So yeah, we have our vulnerable program here. Let's say you have this program installed, okay? You start this program. It is able to view any normal PDF document without any problems. But, um, for example, this one. So you would use it for your day-to-day -day use, okay? But the thing is, this, this version of cool PDF reader is vulnerable. And you, can, you, you will have the following problem. Just by watching or just by opening a file, you can infect your system with a malicious file, which will then run on your system. So I will demonstrate this by opening this PDF file. This is a PDF file that is specifically forged for this version of cool PDF reader. It will open a program. So yeah, let's say somebody sent you this PDF and you were opening it and thinking like, oh yeah, nice, interesting PDF, maybe some funny pictures or maybe some job interview or whatever. So you open it and you have no idea what's going to happen and you open it and the program closes and the calculator opens. In this demonstration I set the program to calculator. But think about this. I could have changed or I could have set any other program on your PC or I could have set or more or less demand or con uh, commanded your PC to download a file from the internet. It could have been any file and it would have been run on your system. So this demonstrates how easy you can get infected with any program. Think about any any malicious file that could have been uh, executed right now, but instead it's running the calculator. So this time it's okay, but it could have been worse. So what can we do about this? Well, the thing is, Emet, after installation, will ask you for. I will show you, or will show you a wizard, and lets you choose from default settings and manual settings. The default settings, they will be quite handy for a start. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. It will look like this, right? Yeah, it will look like this and you can choose like use recommended settings. It will set enable emet for these programs or things like Java. Java in, a particular, in particular is very, very vulnerable to exploits like this. Just by opening a website, you could have been infected with any malicious file. So yeah. After um, choosing what you want, I recommend you to just take the recommended 
uh, version and then add your own programs we can uh, add programs that should that should be um, emit enabled so emit is going to enable I'm going to add the with add application I'm I'm able to add my program now so what emit is going is a capable of is it enables or forces um, some security features that are enabled on your PC or your your operating system by default but some programs they don't they don't accept this default setting they say okay I don't want to enable these standard um, security features so with emit you can force these programs again to enable these settings such as the DEP which is data execution prevention heap sprays things like these they're all these are all um, anti uh, exploit techniques to avoid a program being exploited so now I added my vulnerable cool PDF reader to emet I'm going to click OK and the next time I start uh, the PDF reader it will be running with emet and the enhanced security features so back to emet I'm going to click refresh and I can see okay here is my cool PDF reader and it's running emet so it's special uh, specially especially secured against um, exploit attacks and other uh, especially exploit attacks so when I'm going to open my file now this is again the malicious PDF file we've been we've been opening earlier which loads our calculator and I open it now the behavior is different. Cool PDF reader is not responding, and now that the operating system tells me, okay, uh, P cool PDF reader is not working properly. Um, yeah, it's not running properly, so it should be closed. Um, and now I can say close program. So, did you see what happened here? The payload, in this case, calculator exit. Uh, calculator.exe was not executed which means the exploit and the malicious malicious file that could have been started didn't start even though you have a um, vulnerable program running and that's a cool thing about emet it makes vulnerable programs not vulnerable to attacks or at least in most of the cases so if I go back to my apps here again and say disable mitigations go back to the previous state more or less it will not run with emet or it will run with emet I'm very sorry <laughs> but it won't run with the special security features features and the exploit is executed again and we see the calculator so yeah this demonstrates how easily your system can be infected and also can be secured but keep in mind emet is not a hundred percent um, or 100% or solution in terms of exploits it will prevent prevent most of the exploits that's for sure but um, there is no guarantee it's going to work and another thing if for some apps it could be uh, happening that uh, depending on which options you set you will g you run into problems and they will crash or don't work for example for Chrome there is a bug um, in terms of which add-ons you can use and what not which not if you have a specific add-on with chrome and you enable a specific anti um, exploit technique chrome won't run anymore 
these are things that, it, that you have to figure out. In most of the case it, cases, it won't be a problem, but things like these happen. That's the downside. So you have more or less a trade-off. Another thing, I rec er, really, really recommend you to add every browser you have, for example, Firefox, just by clicking add application and then say, okay, I just choose wherever my program is, in this case, here, and then, oh wait, no, it's not here. <laughs> Sorry for this. Um, and then select the .exe file from the program. And by doing this, you can add your program to Emad. And it, in the future, it will be running with the special security features. Things like browsers, Java, uh, email clients, Skype, instant messaging, all these clients programs, I urge you to add to Emad because these are common apps that are used and common apps that are going to be exploited. And let's say there is a zero day exploit nobody has seen yet and there is no patch yet but you have emet on your program uh, uh, you you enabled emet for your program even if it is an unsecured program it will still just crash it would just it, maybe it will crash but there is a high chance it won't run the malicious payload so in my uh, in my opinion, that's the really great deal about EMET or Enhanced Mitigation Toolkit. So yeah, I'd say just give it a try and see what you can do. If you have any quest questions in terms of EMET, how it's working and uh, what things you can do with it or how to configure, I'm happy to share my my knowledge and will tell you in the comments. So yeah, if you have any other wishes in terms of what kind of tutorials or other videos I could show you, tell me. See you later.